Maximum PC Online Managing Editor Jimmy Thang here, showing off this year's Dream Machine. Every year we try and pick a theme that resonates with people and couldn't think of a better theme than a NASA rocket ship design. Specifically, we're modeling our rocket ship after the 1960s Titan II GLV, which uses two Titan II missiles. Our rocket here also uses Titan rockets of its own, specifically four water-cooled Titan X GPUs. But we mainly went with this theme this year because we think science and NASA are cool. NASA has historically been known for giving mankind a cutting edge glimpse of the future of technology and innovation, which are topics that Dream Machine tries to evoke every year. The space program also embodies what it means to dream big, and as a result, it's the perfect theme for this year's Dream Machine. So, strap yourselves in and check out how we built a $21,000 computer that can reach light speeds. If money were no object, what would the best PC look like? That's a question that Dream Machine tries to answer each and every year, and this year's rocket ship design is no different. The brains behind the operation is the Intel-engineered i7-5960X Central Processing Unit. We overclocked this 8-engine CPU to 4.5 GHz to reach mock speeds. For all-around computing needs, there is no better CPU out there on the market. For our mothership, we went with the ASUS Rampage 5 Extreme motherboard. This MOBO has enough PCIe slots for 4-way SLI, offers 8 RAM slots, and has a ton of overclocking options. Moving on to the GPU, one Titan X will cost you about a thousand bucks, but one water-cooled hydrocopper Titan X from EVGA will cost you about 1300 bucks. Because this is Dream Machine, we of course got four of those turbo-injected rockets and put them into SLI. With these missiles, we were able to rank within the top three fastest PCs in 3 d Mark. With all that rocket power, you can pretty much go wherever you want, so we decided to shoot for the stars and go with the 5K monitor, specifically with Dell's sexy named UP2715K monitor. The panel here is rocking a 5120 by 2880 resolution. That's roughly as sharp as 71080p monitors. For memory, we went with 64 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM, clocked at 2800 megahertz. This will ensure that we've got enough headway to reach ramming speeds. To ensure that our rocket doesn't explode when it blasts through the atmosphere, we went with EK for our custom water cooling needs. Our rocket here has two radiators, two pumps, three reservoirs, and a ton of fans. For storage, we went with four 1TB Samsung 850 Pro SSDs, which we put in RAID 0. We call these our hybrid drives. For our sound solution, we went with Creative's Sound Blaster X7 and paired it with Adam Audio's Artist 5.1 speaker setup. If our rockets don't blow you away, these speakers will. To communicate to Mission Control and to listen to our favorite Neptunes, we went with Kingston's HyperX Cloud 2 headset, which supports 7.1 audio. For our command center, we went with Razer's Black Widow Chroma keyboard, which, of course, offers RGB keys. For our mouse, we went with Logitech's Daedalus Apex G303, which provides super speedy clicks. Finally, we went with Case Labs to provide the hull for our rocket ship and got Smooth Creations to do a wicked paint job replicating the look and feel of the iconic Titan II GLV. The NASA etching that Smooth was able to do on this case is also smoother than the Milky Way. All in all, this was far and away the fastest system we've ever built. As a matter of fact, we're pretty sure that we've inadvertently set off the beacon indicating to higher lifeforms that our technology has evolved enough now to be accepted into their inner circle. That was a quick run through of this year's Dream Machine. For the full written story with all the complete tech specs and benchmarks, visit MaximumPC.com.